シーザー様を拝みにさどうしてまた戦を終えて帰ってきたんだよ勝利を収めたシーザー様はたった今知らないのか今日はみんなシーザー様の凱旋を見物に行くんだよあんたは行かないのか行くわけないじゃないかシーザーは暴君ただ権力が欲しいだけそんなにねはんないことをシーザー様はローマのためを愛しておられるちゃんちゃんおかしいやあいつが可愛いのは自分だけさなんてことを言いやがるあの方は英雄なんだみんなあの方に契約しているというのに冗談じゃねえよ誰があんなやつを見るこんな歴史的瞬間見逃すなんて花を飾るとき用心するんだぜお役人に見つかりでもしたら見つかりでもしたら召し取られるのさあいつらはジュリアス・シーザーのことを心よく思っちゃいねえからなまあせいぜい気をつけなレッツハブザッシャー、えーが
for a smog. Like shame facing dog. Their tails between their legs. Marlos, I'll go this way, you go that. Along the street, how the capital. Pull down these flowers and go the decoration. Is that permitted? Julia see that today will appear in public in this square. Well, what of that? These growing feathers plucked from Caesar's wings. Keep him down to us, or else he'll soar too high above the view of common men. And make us all live slower lives than slaves. Caesar, my lord. Stay close to Campania, my wife. Protect her well. My lord, I obey. When Caesar says do this, it is performed. Proceed with the celebration. To the capital, set on. from the crowd. Speak! Caesar is turned to here. Beware the eyes of Mark! What my that? A soothsayer tells you to beware the eyes of March. The eyes of March? The 15th day of March. Fellow, come forth from the crowd. Stand before Caesar. What do you wish to tell me? Speak again. Beware the eyes of March. Let us leave him. Pass on. to watch the celebrations. I'm not in the mood. I'll leave you, Cassius. Oh, Brutus, what is the matter? For many days now you've seemed unfriendly to me. Forgive me, Cassius. My mind is sorely troubled. Forgive me for neglecting my good friend. Tell me, good Brutus, can you see your face? No, Cassius, I cannot. Then let me be a mirror to help you understand yourself. Many of our friends have wished that you could see how Rome is suffering from great Caesar's power. What dangers are you leading me into, Cassius? Yeah! What did I tell you? I fear the people are asking Caesar to be their king. Do you fear that you don't want Caesar to be king? No, I do not, Cassius. Uh, yet, I greatly admire Caesar. What do you wish to tell me, Cassius? If it's for the good of the people of Rome, I'll listen carefully. Caesar is growing too great. But what kind of man 
Is he Brutus? Listen, some time ago, he challenged me to a swimming match across a river tide. We both dived in and bravely confronted the swift and powerful current. But halfway across the water, Caesar cried out, Help me, Cassius, or I drown! And so, I had to carry him on my back to the British show. And this man now has become a god, and Cassius is a merely wretched human being. I understand you, Cassius. Another time in Spain, he had a fever. I heard him whimper like a sickly child. Give me a drink, Cassius. It amazes me. That a man who once commanded mighty arms is such a weakling, and yet has such enormous power now. Yeah! Another general shout. I'm certain they are making Caesar. King of Rome. Why? He pitched like a human world, like a colossal giant. And we pitiful men walk around his huge head and peeping about, like little birds beneath a mammoth elephant. That's destiny. We were born under lucky stars. The fault, dear Brutus, is not in our stars, but in ourselves, that we are underlings. Brutus and Caesar, both are noble names. But why should Caesar's name be heard so often? and not for the name of Brutus. You'd be good a king as Caesar if you chose. Why should we always hear in Rome the name of one man only? Why should all the power be held just one man? What you have said, I will consider. Now, give me time to think, but I will say this. I'd rather be a slave than a nobleman of Rome condemned to endure this rising power of Caesar. I'm glad my weak words have moved you. <laughs> Caesar is coming back. Let's ask our good friend Casca to tell us what happened at the capital. Caesar <laughs> looks angry, Calpurnia is pale. Mark, Anthony, Caesar, let me have men about me who are fat, contented people, men who sleep well at night. See, Cassius there. He has a lean and hungry looks. He thinks too much. Such men are dangerous. Do not fear him, Caesar. Cassius is a noble Roman, and will be disposed to you. I do not fear him, Anthony, and yet I do not like his mocking smile. He seems to be looking light through me. Such men are very dangerous. I have no fear myself, but nearly tell you what to be feared, for always I I'm Caesar. Come to my right hand side. For this year is death. And tell me, what do you think of Cassius? <laughs> you wish to speak with me? I do, Casca. Something has upset Caesar. What is it? I, I will tell you. Three times, Mark Antony offered the crown to Caesar, and each time, Caesar refused it. But it seemed to me that Caesar was very eager to accept it. Then, the crowd roared with approval, but the smell of the breath was so strong, and the noise so loud, that Caesar fainted. What? Did Caesar faint? Yes. 
He fell down on the ground and foamed at his mouth. He couldn't speak, that's why he's so upset. I think he is suffering from the falling sickness. No, we'll just not Caesar, but you and I. No, we have the falling sickness. Yes, and I will tell you something else. Flavius and Mara, for putting down decorations, have been put to death. Fare you well. Casca, I wish to speak with you. Will you visit me at my house tonight? Yes, Cassius, I will. I will expect you this evening. Very well. Farewell, Bob. I'll leave you too, Cassius. Come and speak to me tomorrow night, and I'll give you my answer. Thank you. I'll visit your house with my friends. Oh, fellow Cassius. Well, Brutus, I know you're a noble man and might be persuaded to do what I have in mind. Tonight, I arrange to have letters sent to you as if they were sent from citizens of Rome, all praising you and criticizing Caesar. And then, you got let Julius Caesar beware for we will destroy the man we cannot bear. そりゃあもう、絵も言われぬその方。そうやまあ、病弱な絵も出てたがか。一番外線中に口から穴を吹いてぶっ倒れたって言うじゃないか。お疲れだったんだよ。聞くところによるとマークアントニーがシーザーに
I saw a lion, its mane on fire. At noon say, a midnight owl with flapping wings hooted out in the marketplace. Something's greatly amiss. I wondered where you were. I came outside to see if I could find you. Casca too? I almost lost my way. Yes, we'll all be losing our way. Unless we take some action soon. Shall we go in? The storm is terrifying. Now I can name a man Trebonius. A man most likely is hideous thunderstorm. A man flashes like an eclipse. And rumbles bolts of thunder through the street of Rome. Uh, you speak of Jurassic Caesar. No matter whom I speak, speak of, you know well. But worse than that is this. We are all so weak. We walk with women's streets, not like men. Indeed, they say the senators of Rome plan to establish Caesar as their king in two days' time. I heard the same. Caesar will have the crown. I know where I will wear this dagger then. Cassius from slavery river Cassius. The gods have sent this storm to give us power to put the tyrant Julius Caesar down. And so we shall. Cassius, here's my heart, my hand, my heart and yours are utterly at one. Come, take my hand. I'll go as far as he who goes the farthest. A bargain made. I thank you, Casca. Cassius, my hand as well. That makes us three. The time is a stupid for Caesar down. Welcome, Tribonius, to the conspiracy. Who else will share with us this secret from? Two others have I invited here tonight. I came out now to look for them. Two friends. You know them both, I think. Sina and Decius. Sina and Decius? I know them well. They are coming here tonight. We will lay our plot. And then tomorrow night, we will visit Brutus. Brutus will be the hardest to pass in. For Caesar is his friend. But Brutus loves Roman people more, much more. And if he joins us, it will never be for private gain, but for the good of Rome. I know that well. And well have I prepared. Tribonius, take these letters. I wrote them myself. But they are signed by names of Roman people, fictitious names. They are full of strong demands that Brutus take action for the good of Rome. I think that these will help him make up his mind to raise his sword against this tyrant Caesar. <laughs> Throw them in at his window tomorrow evening. I'll do as you say, an excellent plan indeed. Meanwhile, come both of you inside my house and let us wait for Cena and Decius. It's almost midnight. Tomorrow night, you will see. Brutus will join our dark conspiracy. I cannot guess what time it is. Lucius, Paul. My lord, did you call me? Light up the candles in my study, Lucius. When they are ready, come and tell me here. What time is it now? A little short of 10 o'clock, my lord. It must be by his death. I have no personal hatred of the man. But for the general good, must Caesar die? He wishes to be crowned. If we do that, it's much the same as giving a dragon fire. Ambitious men, when climbing up the ladder towards success and fame, gaze upwards to the clouds. But when they reach the topmost rung, they turn and scorn those men that helped them rise to power. So, 
Caesar may, then lest he may prevent. To kill a snake, we need to catch the egg. And then, before it's hatched, kill him in the shell. I've lighted the candles in your study, sir. And look, below the window sill, I found these letters. Letters? Let me see them. And get you to bed. Oh, wait, boy. Is not tomorrow the eyes of March? The eyes of March? You mean the 15th day? The 15th day of March. Is that tomorrow? I cannot remember, sir. I don't think calendar. Do so. Now, let me see. Brutus, awake. Shall Romans all be slaves? Speak, strike, and win freedom. Brutus, you sleep. From citizens of Rome, they urge me to act. Shall Caesar wear the crown? No, he shall not. No, not while Brutus sleeps. Speak, strike, and win freedom. Oh, Rome. I make a promise here. No Roman citizen shall ever suffer pain from Caesar's power. My lord, it is 14th day today, the eyes of March tomorrow. Just as I thought. Go to the door. My visitors have come. Since Cassius spoke to me two days ago, I have not slept a wink. Between the initial thought and the action itself, life's like a hideous dream. My lord, the noble professor waits. Is he alone? No, my lord. Four others wait with him. Let him come in. And let us, after that, get you to bed. Good night. Good night, my lord. These are the members of the conspiracy. Oh, dark and evil plot. Aren't you ashamed to show your head at night? Oh, then, by day, how will you find a cavern dark enough to mask your monstrous face? I fear it's late, and we deserve your rest. Good evening, Brutus. Your visit does no harm. I cannot sleep. Am I acquainted, Cassius, with these men? They are all your friends, and every one of us here admires noble Brutus, wishing he would think more highly of himself in Rome. This is Tribonius. He is most welcome. And this is Statius. And here is noble Sina. And Casca, too. You know him well. Give me your hands, good friends. Come, one by one. And let us swear an oath of no. sacred. Not an oath. Our purpose itself is enough. If we are weak will, then tyranny will thrive. I'm certain that we here have fire enough to burn with fiercest passion till the end. If not, our planned conspiracy will fail. Is only Caesar to be killed, no other with him? A timely question, Dacius. It's my belief that Lord Mark Antony should also die, for he is close to Caesar. Our plot will seem too bloody, Cassius, to cut the head off and then hack the limbs. 
Oh, Antony is but a limb of Caesar. Let's kill a tyrant, but not be butchered, Cassius. And gentle friends, let's murder Caesar boldly, but not with anger, not with bitter heart. For this will show that what we do is necessary, and not inspired by envy. As for Antony, think not of him, for he'll be a lifeless sound when Caesar's head is off. Yet. Much I fear him. You need not fear him, Cassius. Mark Antony is soft. When Caesar's dead, he'll melt. I think the same. Let Antony live. Well, let it be so, but there's another catch. Caesar may hesitate to leave his house and not be at the capital tomorrow. Leave that to me. I'm skillful at persuasion. I'll flood the scenes of with soft, honeyed words. That will bring him out. You'll do that well, Trebonius. No one better. What time are we together at the capital? The Senate House commences work at nine. Be there by then. But now the hour is late. We will say farewell. Good, good night. Good night to all. Good gentlemen. Let's keep our faces bright. For what we are set to do is not a crime. We act for Rome tomorrow by our hands. Freedom will reign in all our Roman lands. Portia, dear wife, I thought you'd gone to bed. Go back and get a rest. The night is cold. And so are you in spirit to me, my lord. You do not sleep. You never talk to me. You do not even eat. There is something wrong. Your brow is full of deepest lines of glory. What's on your mind, my lord? I beg you, tell me. I'm not in the best of health. Uh, there's nothing else. Not in good health? Then let me make you well. Uh, there's nothing you can do to calm my mind. Good boss, I go to bed. I cannot leave you, sir, if you are sick. In the name of our love, dear Brutus, let me help. No, do not kneel, sweet Portia. Rise again. I will not kneel, my lord, if you are well. Some secret in your heart is troubling you. It is my duty to know what makes you suffer. You are my true and honorable wife, as dear to me as life itself. And yet... You seem to treat me like a stranger. For many of us today, I've prayed to the God to let my noble husband keep his health. Oh, noble wife. If only I could be as good a husband as you are a wife. I pray you, give me time, and then I promise I'll tell you all the turmoil in my mind. Go now to bed, dear wife, and be at peace. For all will soon be well. I pray to the God that Brutus may be calm and be protected well from grief and harm. シーザー様の忠実なる者であーティミドーラスですあなたは確かブルータス様に仕えしえブルータス様は私の主人しかしそれは表向きの話本当のところ彼には背中を向けているのですお教えくださいあなたがご存知のことを陰謀企んでいる
しかし本当なのですかあなたのご主人が陰謀たくらみちみだというのはキャッシアスたちが最初乗り切れなかった主人を解き伏せたもの言葉巧みにそして今や私の主人ブルータスがその一味のリーダーになってしまったのですあなたは優秀なスパイだあなたと同様私もシーダー様のお命をお守り申し上げたいのですあの方はこのローマにとって唯一の希望なのですからこうしてはいられないすぐに嘆願書を書きに行きますジエスサイシーダー様にご報告申し上げようアナザーストームトゥナイトフォートゥナイトナイトアウストームズディスタブダワスリープマイワイフカルパーニアーズトーチャードウィズヒディアスドリームズスリータイムズシーズクライドアウトラウディーズフィアフルワーズヘルプヘルプゼイマーダーシーザー What does it mean? Servant! Servant! Attend me instantly. Caesar, my lord. Tell me the time. It's almost six o'clock, my lord. The sun is almost up. So near to morning, I must rise and dress. Go. Tell the priest to sacrifice a bull. Then cut its body open. Taste the blood. And tell me what good signs portend today. I will, my lord. I instantly obey. What's this? Are you up? Come back to bed. You shall not lie today, but stay at home. Calpania, dear wife, your face is pale. Fetch me my gun, for soon I must set forth. There is much to do today in the Senate house. You shall not leave the house. A messenger has brought me frightful news. Oh, Caesar, listen. The clouds have opened wide. Instead of rain, torrents of blood have streamed down from the sky. Dead corpses in their graves have raised the stone, and walked in the street and groaned with staring eyes. The noise of battle raises in the sky, and in my dreams, I've seen the dreadful sight of Caesar, stabbed a hundred thousand times, and lying a bloody corpse in the capital. Oh, these are signs of fire to come, and terrify my soul. Oh, Caesar, stay. No, I will go, for I am not afraid. Cowards died many times before their death, but brave men only meet a single death, and such am I. It seems to me most strange that men should fear to die. Seeing that this unnecessary end will come when it will come. Oh, Caesar, come! Say, how is the priest perform the sacrifice? The signs are ghastly. Caesar, let me speak. They sacrifice a bull as you commanded, but when they cast the body open wide, they could not find a heart within the beast. The priest says Caesar must not venture out. The gods do this. To test my strength of will, Caesar would be a beast without a heart if fear should make him stay at home today. Yes, do not go. Inform the senators that I, your wife, tormented with her fears, have forced my husband, Caesar, stay at home. I beg you on my knees, do not go out. Oh, gentle wife, this once I'll heed your words. We'll send a message saying that I'm unwell. And for your sake, Calpania, I'll stay at home. Caesar, or oh, hell, good day, most worthy Caesar. I come to take you to the Senate house. Trebonius, I wish you well. Go, take this message to the senators and tell them that I will not come today. Not that I cannot come, nor that I dare not. Caesar decides he will not come today. Say he has caught a cold. Shall Caesar send a lie? No, Caesar will not. Go, tell them Caesar will not come today. Most mighty Caesar, let me know the cause. The cause is in my 
will, I will not come. That is enough to satisfy the Senate. But good to have bonus. I will tell you why. Campania here, my wife, has begged me to stay. She dreamed last night she saw my bloody corpse lying stabbed a thousand times upon the ground. But what are dreams? Or what does this dream mean? What? Seeds is Octimba, a son of fortune. The seeds is blood will give us all new life. Your spirit shall flow in all our people's veins, and the soul revive the drooping soul of long. Kapania's dream is a son of God. And seeing such a light, it all goes well. For dreams are meanings other than they seem. How well you listen this and tell this too. The senators have reserved this very day to set the clan on stage as Mari head. If you send word, you will not come today. Their minds may change. Perhaps they will think the Caesar is afraid to venture out. Pardon me, Caesar, that I am so bored. Tolbonius, you speak the honest truth. How foolish now, Calpurnia see me a dream. I am ashamed to let them think me weak. Bring me my gun, for I will go today. And yet, my lord, my heart is not at Calpurnia, peace. Calpurnia, speak no more. I am resolved. And see, Mark Antony comes to fetch me. Most noble Caesar, greetings for this day. I come to take you to the Senate house. Then you and Torbonius both shall lead me there. Two nights have storms disturbed the peace of Rome. But now the sun is shining in the heavens to show great Caesar in his prince glory. Come, come, make haste. Caesar is on his way to win his greatest triumph, the crown, today. Caesar, beware Brutus. Keep a close eye on Cassius. Do not let Casca come near you. Do not trust Trebonius. Cassius is not your friend. Sinner despises you. All these men are one mind to assassinate Caesar. Caesar! Caesar, beware. May the mighty God defend you from your friend, Artemidoras. Death will save the life of Julius Caesar as have the secret plot of Brutus, Brutus and Cassius. I will stand here, present this paper to Caesar when he comes past. Yeah. Oh, Caesar, may you live long. So much have come. I see the but not gone yet. Help me, Caesar, read this paper. Caesar, this has request you to read this important paper concerning Matra Simba. He humbly desires that Caesar pardon him. Oh, Caesar, read my first, for mind one that deeply concerns yourself. That which concerns shall be looked at last. Do not delay, Caesar, read it instantly. What? Is this fellow mad? Stand aside, you among a dog. No man speaks to Caesar thus. Will it please you consider this request? I'll read it over. Your 
enterprise. Today we will try. What enterprise do you speak of? Where you well. What did the senator say to you? He hoped I enterprise today would try. I fear our purpose is discovered. See, the senator is speaking to Caesar. Watch well. Casca, be well prepared. We may be prevented. Brutus, what shall we do? If our plot is discovered, I'll kill myself. Castus, be controlled. Their talk is harmless. It's not about our secret enterprise. See? Caesar is smiling. Tribonius knows his business well. For look, he's leading my country from the Senate House. Gracious, are you ready? Go to Caesar now. Casca, you are the first to strike. Darius is about to begin. Draw near and support his request to Caesar. Here's the is coming back. <coughs> now, Decius, what is this? Most high, most mighty, and most noble Caesar. I humbly request you to pardon me the Simba. I must prevent you, Decius. This kneeling down, these flattering words are not for one such as me. Do not imagine I am easily swayed. By my decree, Metilas Simba is banished. If you kneel down like this and ask for his pardon, I'll scorn you like a dog. Oh, great Caesar, you do me wrong. Caesar shall never do wrong to any man unless there is a reason based on law and justice. Will no one here, with my persuasive words, attempt to catch the ear of mighty Caesar? I kiss your hand, but not in flattery, Caesar. I earnestly request you, sir, to pardon Simba. What, Brutus? Pardon, great Caesar. Caesar, pardon him. I knew before you here to ask for the Simba's freedom. If I were a man like you, I could be swayed, and others' prayers would move me to give way. But I am as constant as a northern star, which never moves from where it shines in the sky. The heavens are painted with unnumbered stars, but in that number, there is one that shines more brightly than the sum of all those fires. So, in the world of men, and I do know that the greatest star is here, and I am here. I am resolved that Simba should be banished and I am constant in my resolution. Oh, Caesar! Hence, do you attempt to raise a mountain? Please, Caesar! Right, Brutus. You are kneeling there in vain. Speak! And for me! Then, for Caesar.
Competition is a tiny end. Freedom! Liberty! Rome is forever free! Go, Brutus! Go to the marketplace and speak to the people. Tell them what we've done and how we've saved them all from slavery. But first, before we leave, kneel, Romans, kneel. And let us wash our hands in Caesar's blood. Then make our way towards the marketplace. Wave our sword in the air and all proclaim peace, freedom, and death to tyranny. Down, Romans, kneel, and wash our guilty as hands. History forever will name us as the men who gave Roman people liberty. Our fame is fixed, eternal in the world. Now, let's go out and speak in the marketplace. No, wait a while. Oh, here Mark Antony comes. Welcome, Mark Antony. Mighty Caesar, to who you lie so low. All your conquest, glories, triumphs, gains, reduced to this bleeding corpse. I know not, gentlemen, what you intend, nor whether I also meet my death. But if you do so, no moment is so fit as seize out from this hour for my own. I would not choose another place or time, no other assassins than your noble service. Mark Antony, we do not seek your death. You see our bloody hands, but not our hearts. What we have done, we did for pity's sake, in pity for the wrongs imposed on Rome. We welcome you as friends to be our friend. What power we hold, we will share with you in truth. Be patient, Antony, till I have told the citizens of Rome our reasons why. Why I, the friend of Caesar, struck him down. I understand the wisdom of your deed. Let each my own family put bloody hands. Fast Brutus, you shake your bad hands, make Cassius. You, I shake your bad hands. Now, Casca. 
Gud. Jag tror på Jesus. Next sinner. Good. And last three dishes. Good. Yet Caesar was great indeed, and Caesar is dead. Like his. My wounded heart now reads with grief. We understand your sorrow, Anthony, but let us, not, let us now make terms of peace between us. Are you content to be our faithful friend? I ask for one thing only. It is this, that I may take the corpse of mighty Caesar and speak to the people at his funeral you may, Mark Anthony. But it's not wise. The people may be moved to turn against us when they see the corpse. I'll speak to the citizens first and let them know the real reasons why we struck him down. I do not like it. Cassius, be content. Anthony, take Julius Caesar's corpse. You shall not in your funeral speech blame us, but speak of Caesar's goodness and say, you do so by our permission, not a word against us. It shall be done. I seek no more. Prepare the body then and follow us. Pardon me, you breathing piece of us, that I am meek and gentle with these butchers who are beings of noblest men that ever lived in any age of the world. Woe to the hand that shed this precious blood for this gross crime a cat shall fall on long blood and destruction furious war will come and Caesar's priests blending holy bench shall never rest till these conspirators I drowned in their blood upon the battlefield. なんて言うのが旦那賞を読んでくださらないなんてシーザー様をこの人だけを正当化するために古田は市民の前で演説するつもりですブルータスは市民の前で演説するつもりです。古田は市民の前で演説するつもりです。古田は市民の前で演説する
それはその時公表されるでしょうシーザー様が書き残したこととは一体その遺書が紐解かれるまではしかし私が思うにシーザー様をご自分の遺産はこのローマ市民のためにと思いだったのではそれが本当なら民衆は奴らに対して暴動を起こしブルータス率いる連中を生かしておかないでしょう何が起こるかこの目で確かめよう Remember this. I killed my best friend for the good of Rome. But see, I have the same dollar for myself when you are in the mood to murder me. No, 
all good countrymen. I must depart alone. Here comes my country with the body of Caesar. Antony had no hand in the death of Caesar. I've given him leave to make a funeral speech, so stay with him here and listen to his words. Great art here, Mark Anthony. We are here, Mark Anthony. Brutus, but let me come before you hear. What does he tell Brutus? to praise him. Men's evil deeds live on beyond the death. Their good deeds often are buried with their bones. So, let it be with Caesar. Brutus has told you that Caesar was ambitious. <laughs> if this were true, then Caesar has paid most they are in for his crime. I come before you here to speak at Caesar's dinner. He was my friend, but Brutus said he was ambitious. <laughs> and Brutus is a good. Caesar has brought much treasure back to Rome. All for the people of good. Was this ambitious? Caesar has whipped to see people so poor. Ambition should be made of stunners. But Brutus said he was ambitious. And Brutus is a good. Three times I offered Caesar the kingly crown. Three times he refused to take it. Was this ambition? I speak not to disprove what Brutus has told you. For Brutus is a good and honest man. Oh, how can I make you people understand? Let me pause for a while to get up my thoughts. Anthony says is most reasonable. Perhaps Caesar was not as ambitious as we thought. If Caesar was ambitious, Brutus may be more ambitious. Did you hear what Anthony says? Caesar is a clown. If he refused a crown, then he was not ambitious. Caesar 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 was not ambitious. But here, he lies a bloody corpse. Oh, Romans, I must not spare your amazement. For if I did, I'd do great Brutus wrong, and Cassius wrong, and all the conspirators for all of the worthy honest men. No citizens, I will not speak against them, but See here, this is 
the weed of Caesar. You have to read this will. You will see how much great Caesar loves his people. Read it, Anthony. Read Caesar's will. We must know how much Caesar cares for us. Yes, we must hear it. Make a ding run. Caesar's body here. And let me show you. She. Who made the will? You all remember this, this imperial log. Look, here is a map of Cascas in Biastaga. Here, Cascas has drunk him straw. And look again. This trash was made by Brutus. Caesar's grand. How did poor Caesar feel when Brutus struck the shock and sorrow past his mighty heart and down? He fell on the stones of the capital. Oh, but the fall was their good countrymen. Oh, now you weep. Now you feel pity. Look. Here is a mark. Cascas in Biestaga. Look. He is a man himself murdered by traitors! <laughs> Caesar gives to every citizen 75 pieces of gold. <laughs> Common people for their pleasure. Yeah. For the people of yeah. 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 Here was a Caesar when comes such another. Yeah. Let it work. This will be civil war. 
But let the gods decide which side shall win. I was having dinner with Julius Caesar, who was kind and gentle, and filled my glass with wine. Red wine, again and again. I've been writing a poem. Such golden joy invites us to dine. Come on, poet I, an imperial feast. When she is offered my glass with scarlet wine, I knew he loved the lowest and the least. What's your name? Yes. Yes. I'm a red butter. Where are you going? I'm not quickly. I'm telling you the truth, all right? What is my name? Where do I live? Am I married? I tell you, friends, I am a bachelor. Where am I going? Why? To see that funeral. What is your name? My name, sir. My name is Sina. No, no. なぜ罪は私の友人だったこいつはシナ様暗殺した仲間のシナってやつだろ彼は確かにシナという名だしかし奴らの仲間じゃないシナは精錬潔白なシナだったこれではただの犬死にだあんまりじゃないか知らなか
And now, shall we dirty our hands by giving bribes or money to make men fight? I am a soldier, Brutus, more practical than you, older and better able to judge in matters of war. You are not. I say I am. I say you are not. Oh, you got must anger this. Yes, this are more. Away, this honest man. What? Brutus and Cassus at war? That is what it seems. You say you are a better soldier. If that is true, then prove it. You wrong me, Brutus. Wrong me in every way. I said I'm older soldier, not a better. I don't care what you say. You bribe good men with gold. No, speak no more. I may do something we shall both regret. There is no trap, Cassius, in your threat. For oh, I am armed so strong in honesty that danger cannot touch me. Here, take this dagger. If bribing remains wrong, that we may win our cause for the freedom of law. Strike me in the heart with greater force than ever you struck Caesar. Here, take my dagger. Paul Sharp is dead. What? Portia, your wife? Dead. By her own hand. She was in despair. Thought she would never see me alive again. Forgive me for my anger. Forgive me for mine. Both of us are wronged. Portia dead. One half of me is gone. Lucius, bring us some wine. We must prepare for battle, Cassius. How will you control your grief? I'm a Roman, Cassius, a Roman soldier. Here's my hand. Let's put our anger behind us. I was in the room. Here's the wine, sir. To our friendship, to our friends, living and dead. How shall we proceed in our war against Mark Anthony? Let his army come to us. I beg to differ. As Anthony advances, many local tribes will join his army, giving him greater power. But we hold good position here. No, Cassius. Our strength is at its greatest. There is a tide in the affairs of men, which taken at the flood leads on to fortune. Neglected, then our future hopes are dashed. Upon a full sea are we now afloat, and we must take the current when it serves, or lose our venture. So we must attack. I see your wisdom. And we'll follow you. Good night, Brutus. Cassius, good night. If we shall meet again, we'll smile as friends and never quarrel more. If 
not, then we have made a good farewell. Forever and forever we will be friends. If we shall meet again, we will smile indeed. If not, then we have made a good farewell. Good night. Lucius, my book, I wish to read to calm my troubled mind. Now, Lucius, sing to me, then you may sleep. He's fallen asleep. He's worn out with marching. The light is too dim to read.
who comes here? Is this the weakness of my eyes? Are you a living thing? Or an angel? Or a devil? My blood runs cold. Speak! What are you? I am your evil spirit, Brutus. My evil spirit? What do you mean? I am your guilty conscience in your mind. Do you not know me? These are... Why have you come? To tell you I shall see you on the battlefield tomorrow. On the field of battle? I, Brutus, on the field of blood, you will not see me, but I shall be there. Farewell. Lucius, servant, Lucius, wake up, Miss Sala. Yes, my lord. What is the matter? Did you call me, my lord? Yes, both of you. Did you not see us, spirit? A uh, spirit, my lord. A ghost, the ghost of Julius Caesar. My lord, I saw nothing. Neither did I. It must have been a dream. Sleep again, Lucius. Messala, stand on guard. Wake me if you see anything. Now, I must sleep. Tomorrow, we must fight a mighty battle against Mark Anthony. And the spirit of Julius Caesar will be there. Brutus is what? Naki Julius Caesar is奥様のポーサーは自殺なさったことをとても悲しんでおられるのです。奥様は二度とブルータス様にお会いになれないと思われたのです。これがブルータス様の運命なのか。運命だなんて不謹慎じゃありませんか。ブルータス様は何が何で
Gracias! Caesar the assassin! Why do you coward? Oh, you mother of Caesar! Why Gracias! Cassius dies. Go, it just to the end. A man who murdered Caesar out of envy. Dead. Now, we are Brutus. Brutus coward! Do you flee from the fear? To arms! Now your red face seems to us far west. So in his red blood, Cassius is there is set. The son of Rome is set. Our day is gone. The smokes of battle rise. Our deeds are done. Lucius, come near me. I must die, Lucius. Hold my sword, and I will run upon it. Lucius. No, no, my lord. You must not die. I did not die myself. Do as I say. Hold my sword. And I will run on it. Obey me, Lucius. Oh, Julius Caesar, you are mighty still. Your spirit walks in triumph in the field and turns our bloody souls upon ourselves. Hold the sword firm. What? 
loses, die instead of me. Courageous boy, you teach me how to be a Roman. Messala, my lord, be faithful still, my good Messala. See. Now, do me one last service. Hold my sword, that I may run upon this dust and die. No, give me your hand first. My lord, farewell. Farewell, Miss Sarah. Till I die, my pain is harder to bear than yours when you are slain. This was the noblest Roman of them all. All the conspirators, save only he, did what they did in envy of great Caesar. He only, with his honest thoughts for Rome, and common good to all, was one of them. According to his badge, let us give him, with due respect, the rights of burial. So, call the few to rest and lead away to mourn the dead upon this sorrowful day. <laughs> <laughs> 